So I'm out here in Las Vegas for CES 2024. I'm in my hotel room. The lighting is absolutely horrible, but there has been just a load of insane announcements already from this event. The day I'm recording this, Tuesday, January 9th, is actually the first day of CES, but they let media personnel in on Sunday. So I've been here Sunday and Monday already, and they've already made a whole bunch of announcements around cool new tech and AI and... I'm gonna jump over to the computer here and we're gonna review some of the cool announcements that have already come out of CES before day one even started. So let's get into it. So when I first got here on Sunday, they had a media preview day where they let us walk around the floor at the Mandalay Bay, a handful of companies, not all of the companies, I'd say probably like 10% of the companies that are at CES had little mini booths set up and we were able to walk around and get early sneak peeks at a lot of the tech that they were gonna be showing off at CES. There was a few interesting things going on in this hall, but I feel like the real big guns, the real crazy insane tech, they save for the main event. One of the cooler pieces of tech that I came across during this first day was this Sear Grills Perfecta. And what this is, is an AI powered grill. You can put your steak in it, basically tell it what temperature you like your meat cooked at. It will cook it to that temperature. And then it's got a reinforcement learning algorithm in it where after your meat is cooked, you eat it and then you give feedback to this machine on how you liked your steak. Did you feel it was too dry, too moist, overcooked, undercooked? You give it this feedback, and then the next time it cooks steak for you, it actually uses AI to adjust and try to cook it better for you. And every single time you cook on it, you give it a little bit of feedback, and then it tries to improve the quality of the cook with each new cook through. I thought that was pretty cool tech. I also got a sneak peek of this enchanted tools robot, but I actually couldn't hear what they were saying, so I don't know much about about it yet. I'm gonna go and try to find this again on the main floor during the main event and see if I can get more details about what this little guy actually does for people. And then we moved on to Monday. Monday was media day. Media day was the day where all sorts of companies made their big announcements for CES, the new technology that they're unveiling. And there was a whole bunch of really interesting panels like this one that I watched. It was talking about the crossover of AI and mixed reality. Then on Monday evening, they had this event called Pepcom, which was another sort of media only preview where it seemed like a lot of the same companies from Sunday night were there, but also a whole bunch of different companies were there on Monday night previewing their tech. And there was some pretty cool tech on display during this Monday event as well like this Helix aircraft, which was pretty cool to see in person. And this AI companion with a face that you can actually have conversations with and it will look at you and talk back with you. I personally tried to have a conversation with it, but it kept putting a notification on the screen that it needed an update. I actually didn't get to experience this. I just kind of saw it and felt like a weirdo trying to talk to it. But let's get into some of the big keynotes that happened because this is where all of the big announcements from CES came out. We had announcements from companies like Sony and LG and Samsung. So let's go ahead and start with AMD. One of their main announcements was this AMD Ryzen 8040 series, which is designed for AI and actually being able to run AI locally on your computer. They also announced another brand new chip, the 8000G series with a neural processing unit built in. Today, we are announcing the AMD Ryzen 8000G series processor. This product combines the power of a discrete graphics card with the Zen 4 CPU cores and the world's first ever NPU in a desktop processor. They also announced a brand new graphics card that is designed to compete with NVIDIA's range of 4070s, 4080s, things like that. Today, we are announcing the Radeon RX 7600 XT with 16 gigabytes of memory is future ready for years to come. It will be on shelf later this month in January. The 16 gigabytes of graphics memory offers a wider breadth of options for content creators and AI applications. It also enables popular large language models such as the Llama 13 billion parameter model that won't run on graphics cards with less RAM. And they also brought out somebody from Microsoft and talked about some of the integrations AMD are doing together with Microsoft. They also showed off this demo, which we actually saw several months ago at a different NVIDIA keynote, where a person walks up to a character in a game and starts to have a conversation with that character, but it's a completely unique conversation because it's all using AI language models to have the conversation 
Nation. This is tech created by Convey, C-O-N-V-A-I, somebody that I actually had on one of my previous episodes here on this channel. They also showed off a whole bunch of improved graphics for those of you that are gamers, but I'm going to leave the gamer talk about CES to uh, gamer YouTube channels. They then also talked about a partnership with iStock Photo. Today, iStock by Getty Images is releasing a Gen AI service built on NVIDIA Picasso, our AI foundry for visual design. The iStock service allows anyone to create 4K imagery from text using an AI model that is trained on Getty Images' extensive catalog of licensed, commercially safe creative content. The generative AI service is available today at iStock.com with advanced editing features releasing via API. They also announced their new RTX Super Series, which are the RTX 4000 range of GPUs, but a lot less expensive than what they used to be. Creators can generate video with stable video diffusion one and a half times faster, and images with Stable Diffusion XL 1.7x faster. The RTX 4080 Super features more cores and faster memory, giving it a performance edge at a great new price of $999. Now, probably one of the areas I'm most excited about from CES this year is some of the advancements in robotics. I'm super excited to get down onto that show floor and find as many cool robots that are AI powered as I possibly can. And NVIDIA did make some announcements about their new robotics stuff. I would like to share how the infusion of generative AI into robotics is speeding up the ability to bring robots from proof of concept to real world deployment. For the past few years, autonomous robots powered by artificial intelligence are being increasingly utilized for improving efficiency, decreasing costs, and tackling labor shortage. Logistics, warehouses, and manufacturing are the first use cases that had the biggest need. And today, we can see hundreds of thousands of deployed robots, with each of them getting smarter as time goes on. In their keynote, they go on to explain how they're helping with advancing robotics using their NVIDIA Isaac system. Again, I'll be talking a lot more about robotics over the week as CES goes on. That is one of the rabbit holes I'm trying to dive deep down while I'm at this event. But let's get into some of the really cool tech and gadgets that they've shown off and made announcements around. Some of them AI focused, some of them not. This is just the stuff that I've found to be really, really cool. And to keep this video from going two hours long, I'm just gonna kind of cut between some really, really cool clips from these keynotes here. The auto open door on many of our home appliances responds to hands-free gestures. Our mobile devices can provide auto-generated subtitles during calls. And our TVs and displays now offer audio subtitles, a new AI-enabled text-to-speech feature. On top of that, I'm happy to share that we have upgraded our Illumino mode on Samsung TVs with a new feature, Illumino Together. Relumina mode is a viewing mode made specifically to aid users with low vision. Relumina Together will enable users of all abilities to watch TV together with or without visual adjustments. We're taking this technology one step further with our new transparent micro LED. Clearly, our screens are evolving and redefining the standards in premium visual display technology. Our 2024 screen lineup comes with on-device AI, an intelligent integration across devices, allowing you to upscale the experience. The latest Samsung Neo QLED 8K is a beast of an AI screen with our most advanced Neo QLED chipset to date. The NQ8 AI Gen 3 chip features a neural processing unit with over 500 neural networks. That's eight times more than our previous model, meaning our latest TVs are even smarter. The NPU of this processor runs at double the speed of our previous model. Visuals are strikingly sharp and detailed thanks to Samsung Neo QLED's 8K AI upscaling and AI motion enhancer technologies. Sound and dialogue are optimized based on Active Voice Amplifier Pro, which analyzes and adjusts voice tracks against background noises. And if you're big into gaming, Samsung Neo QLED's AI engine instantly optimizes picture and sound quality based on the game or genre you want to play. We're also introducing the new Premiere 8K. With an expansive 150-inch display, this projector is the world's first to feature wireless 8K transmission. Now, another exciting addition to our lineup is the music frame. This customizable speaker seamlessly integrates into your space. 
with dual built-in woofers and intelligent audio processing, it syncs effortlessly with your Samsung TV and soundbar via Q-Symphony. Leveraging Samsung's AI sound technologies, Q-Symphony allows all of your compatible speakers to augment bass and surround sound while intelligently adapting to the acoustics of your home. I'm excited to introduce the new Bali. It is your true AI companion. With more advanced intelligence, Bali can come right to you and project visuals on your wall. It can also help you interact with other connected devices or take care of hassles like turning switches on and off. Hi. Oh, hi, Pedro. Termine de trabajar y que descanses. Muchas gracias por tu esfuerzo. Connect? Hey, Amy. Can I call you back soon? Sure. This is the bespoke four-door flex refrigerator with AI Family Hub Plus. With a 32-inch screen, it can help you explore all the connected possibilities available in the kitchen. And this year, we're introducing AI Vision Inside. It uses the power of connected intelligence to make your fridge's internal camera a little smarter. With AI Vision Inside, your fridge can recognize what goes in or is taken out, and it will update your food list. The fridge can also send you a notification for items you've set up with an expiration date. This can help you use up the ingredients before they go bad, reducing the amount of food that goes to waste. All of this extra intelligence gets even more helpful by connecting AI vision inside with Samsung Food. With a better understanding of what's on your shelves, as well as your preferences and dietary needs, Samsung Food can propose new recipes, including ways to use produce before it expires, or fun family recipes that you've saved to your profile. Samsung's new bespoke AI laundry combo not only frees up space at home, but it also uses smart technology. It automatically senses fabric types and soil levels and adjusts the wash time and detergent as needed. We're also launching a new AI-powered robot vacuum. Meet Samsung's latest bespoke JetBot combo. Samsung also announced a whole bunch of cool features for vehicles, smart sensors and computer vision and some really cool stuff there. And it seemed like Samsung's presentation was going to be a tough one to beat because they had so many cool AI announcements. But LG and Sony both had keynotes and announcements to make on Monday as well. So let's check some of those out, starting with LG. We are introducing a smart home AI agent designed to seamlessly fit into your daily life. With its affectionate intelligence, it can take care of your smart home, communicate with you, and even show you empathy. With autonomous driving technology, its two-legged wheels, our AI agent can navigate effortlessly around the house, greeting and talking with you, and sharing its personality through a range of motions and facial expressions. With the mic, camera, multiple sensors, it understands home environment such as temperature and humidity. In the morning, it gives you medication alarm. When you come back home, our adorable AI agent is there to greet you at the front door. It also gives you a briefing of the home. And don't worry, ever when you're home alone, it can make an emergency call if needed. Now, this was really one of the show stoppers of CES so far, is this transparent TV here. Allow me to introduce you to LG Signature OLED T, the world's first 4K wireless transparent OLED TV. OLED T creates a sense of openness. The TV no longer has to dominate the room. This heightens the relationship between TV and the space it inhabits. OLED T also becomes an object of design. You can place it in locations unimaginable until now. And with the wireless Zero Connect box, there are no cables to fuss with wherever you place it. I want you to picture yourself behind the wheels of a car equipped with LG's cutting edge digital cockpit system, display, ARMR platform, AI, and 5G telematics technology. As soon as you get into your seat, your car recognizes you through affectionate intelligence, displaying your own personalized screen 
to greet you. Once your navigation is set up to your preferred destination and while driving, you and your passengers can easily monitor what's going on at home. You can even check in on your pets and feed them too. And now let's see some of Sony's big announcements. We're definitely seeing some themes form here. We are happy to announce a new solution for facial content creation with a crisp viewing experience and intuitive interaction for 3D design. We are enabling creators to shape and edit 3D models. We are expanding the creation space by overlaying virtual objects into physical spaces. With seamless access to virtual objects, creators can work in real space with an immersive development experience. And then there was this moment during the Sony presentation where they actually drove a car on stage using a PlayStation controller. I was using this. <laughs> This is a PlayStation controller. Using this controller, I'd like to show you an aspect of the software-defined vehicle. able to talk to our cars through voice command for quite some time now, right? So what's interesting and promising today is that with the introduction of generative AI and cloud-scaled computing, there is unlimited potential to amplify creativity, increase personalization, and transform the in-vehicle experience. So we're going from buttons on a screen to conversational and multimodal, from siloed apps and manual integrations to integration by default. Instead of the in-vehicle experience feeling like a separate state, you can now bring your digital life into the vehicle with you. Now, so far, this has just been a fraction of some of the announcements they made at these big keynotes. These are just the things that kind of got me the most excited that I thought were the funnest things to show off. But you can find pretty much all of these keynotes on YouTube in their entirety. Just kind of search the company plus CES. If you search Sony CES 2024, LG CES 2024, etc., you'll find the entire keynotes if there's any that you want to dive deeper on. I just am at this event here. I'm in my hotel room. It's very difficult to create videos in this environment, but I wanted to share some of the coolest things from the media days before the actual event started. As soon as I finish recording this video and getting it online, I'm headed back down to the show floor to find some of the coolest tech that I can possibly find. Now, there was one more quick announcement that I wanted to share with you. In last week's news video, we talked about this company, Rabbit Tech, that had some sort of new AI device. Well, they made their announcement today about what that Rabbit device actually is. So here's a quick peek at that. This is the Rabbit R1. Designed in collaboration with Teenage Engineering, the R1 is a fully standalone device, primarily driven by natural language. It is simple to use. R1 is equipped with everything you need to interact with you and perceive your surroundings. It comes with a touch screen, a push to talk button, and an analog scroll wheel, a microphone and speakers, and a computer vision enabled 360-degree rotational camera we call the Rabbit Eye. It is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capable and it has the same card slots that supports global 4G LTE network. I can ask the Rabbit for anything, just like if I'm using ChatGPT. The difference though is the speed. With Rabbit OS, I get a response 10 times faster than most of the voice AI projects. Rabbit answers my questions within 500 milliseconds. With the push to talk button, you don't need to say anything to wake it up. Just press and hold the button and talk, like a walkie-talkie. What's the nature of the reality? The nature of reality is a topic that has captivated the minds of philosophers and thinkers throughout history. According to Bertrand Russell, reality is composed of hard data derived from sensory experiences and logical analysis. It is the amalgamation of our perceptions, thoughts, and the external world. Now, supposedly this thing can actually do tasks for you. So for example, you can ask ChatGPT questions and it will give you answers, but then it won't actually act on those answers for you. This one, you can actually tell it to book you a reservation or send an email on your behalf or things like that, which is something you can't do natively inside of ChatGPT really yet. I mean, I guess you kind of can with some plugins and I'm sure you will be able to with future GPTs, but that's what this rabbit is. And I'm actually kind of curious, what do you think of this rabbit? Would you actually carry around a second device like your mobile phone 
and this sort of AI device that you can talk to and have it do things for you, would something like this actually replace your phone? Or do you think we're better off just kind of putting this tech into future phones? That's kind of where my thinking is. I'm probably gonna order one of these and we'll demo it on a future video. I don't know, I have a hard time believing something like this will catch on, but I'm always curious about your thoughts on what you think about stuff like this. And there you have it. There's sort of my recap of the first couple media days of CES before I've actually gone into the main event. I'm about to head down there right now. These videos aren't gonna be nearly as polished as my normal videos. I am in my hotel room recording them with a different mic than I normally record with on a different computer than I normally record with, with not the best lighting in the world. And I'm not sending them to my editor. I'm just kind of editing them real quick so I can get them online as fast as possible for you. So the polish isn't gonna be there on these videos. I just wanna report on what I'm finding and show off the coolest stuff for you. And if you wanna see more of those kinds of videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be posting more content from CES. Once CES is over, I'm gonna get back to my normal routine of sharing the latest AI news and the coolest AI tutorials. So. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe now. And if you like videos like this, give this one a thumbs up and also check out futuretools.io where I curate all the coolest AI tools and news. And that's all I got for you. I gotta head down to CES and check out some more cool stuff and try to make some more cool videos for you. So I'll see you in the next one. Really, really appreciate you. Bye-bye.